This is the brand new Nissan Juke and this is the facelifted Toyota CHR. They both have a very courageous design and this is probably why you're watching this comparison. It's also sunny but raining and hail is sort of coming on and off. So just watch the thing, will you? Wait a minute, Toyota CHR is a compact crossover, by European standards anyway, and the Nissan Juke is a B crossover. What kind of a comparison is this? In 2019, this would indeed be a strange comparison, because the original Juke was only 412 cm long, with 253 cm wheelbase and 100 and 76 and a half centimeters in width. The CHR on the other hand is 439 centimeters long, it has 264 centimeter wheelbase and is 179.5 centimeters wide. When it was launched the Toyota CHR was compared in size to the third generation RAV4, this was when the fourth generation RAV4 was still on the market. Meanwhile, the Nissan Juke grew up and is now 421 cm long, it has almost 264 cm wheelbase and it is 180 cm wide. It is also 4 cm higher than the CHR. And yes, there is 18 cm difference in length between the two, but that's just overhangs. The CHR has to fit the larger engine and traction battery somewhere. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's get on with the comparison. There is no denying both cars have polarizing styling. Before the Juke and the CHR, Nissan and Toyota were not often associated with modern, bold design. I don't want to say there were no interesting experiments, like the micro-based Nissans B1, Figaro or the Escargo, spelled S-Cargo, pronounced Escargo, like snail in French. There was also the Nissan Cube and Toyota had the Urban Cruiser. Right, no wonder the CHR made a big splash. The Toyota CHR boot has, depending on the drivetrain, 358 or 377 liters volume. This is a 2 liter hybrid with the smaller boot, and that's including the underfloor storage. Above the floor, you get about 330 liters. There are shopping bag hooks, but too low to make them usable. They would work in the version with a deeper boot. Because of the styrofoam divider and the battery, the parcel shelf doesn't fit under the floor. The Nissan has a much larger boot. It grew 20% versus the first generation to 422 liters. There is a double floor, two shopping bag hooks and a repair kit, as well as some small storage in the spare wheel well. The parcel shelf can be stored under the floor. In the back of the Toyota CHR, it is rather dark. That's because of the high window line. I'm 175 centimeters tall, and behind a driver's seat set to my driving position, I have about 8 centimeters legroom. There is also about 4 centimeters headroom. There is no armrest, no USB or 12 volt charging points, no AC vents. But there are very large cup holders in the doors. When getting out, it's best to take a small peek first, because visibility is really bad. On the plus side, doors cover the sills. In the back of the new Nissan Juke there is more space than in the first gen model, but versus the CHR it is clearly tighter. I have about half of the legroom and half of the headroom. The interior also feels narrower, so I guess the wider exterior is mainly flared wheel arches. At least there is a bit more light coming in through the windows than in the CHR. There are door bins and pockets in the front seats. There is one USB port and a cubby to put away your device for charging. There are no air vents, no armrest, 
Doors cover the sills, but the lower seal is not enough and the dirt gets through anyway. It is relatively easy to get into the CHR. With just 15 cm ground clearance, you don't have to climb inside. You also don't fall into the seat like in a regular hatchback or a sedan. In the front, the Toyota's dashboard is simple. The dials are analog with a small display between them. The facelifted version gets a newer infotainment system, which brings back physical buttons and knobs. There is also Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Door pockets are small and so is the glove box. At least storage under the armrest is generous. There is also a 12 volt socket in there. On the center console we get two cup holders and a USB port. Compared to the CHR, the Nissan Juke cockpit looks much more premium and modern. This trim level gets a lot of Alcantara finish. There is also a new infotainment system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Infotainment in Toyota and Nissan are not class leading, but Nissan has made great advancements since the last version. There is only one USB port, large door pockets, small storage under the armrest, but a surprisingly large glove box. The dials remain analog, but the display between them is larger and easier to read than in the Toyota. Toyota is available in three engine variants. There is the 1.2 liter turbo petrol generating 116 horsepower, a hybrid with a 1.8 liter engine that puts out 122 horsepower, and a 2 liter hybrid boasting 184 horsepower. This test car is a 2 liter version, which, in my opinion, offers adequate performance for this chassis and steering. The CHR could easily take more power and it would still be great to drive. In my unscientific test driving cycle, I managed to get about 5 liters combined on a cold day and about 4.5 liters per 100 kilometers combined on a warmer day. Soundproofing is okay, the seats are comfortable, but visibility out of the CHR is terrible. No wonder reversing camera is standard regardless of the trim, otherwise you would not be able to safely reverse out of a parking spot. Reverse cross traffic alert with emergency braking is part of a technology package for mid-level trim and standard for two highest trim levels. Definitely worth considering. As standard, regardless of the trim, the CHR gets adaptive cruise control, heated wing mirrors, LED headlights, traffic sign recognition, lane assist and collision warning with pedestrian detection. In the new Juke, there is only one engine, a 3-liter turbo petrol putting out 117 horsepower. It's available with a 6-speed manual or a 7-speed automatic gearbox. The Juke is not only slower than the CHR from 0 to 100 km per hour, 11 versus 8.2 seconds, but it also lacks mid-range grunt. To merge safely, you really have to give it the beans. There are more dynamic three-cylinder engines out there. Perhaps in the Nissan, they wanted to cut down on emissions. On the plus side, if you drive carefully, the Juke will use about one liter more per 100 kilometers than the CHR. It's a shame Nissan doesn't offer the Juke with a 1.3 liter engine it uses in the Qashqai. Even with front-wheel drive, the Juke feels very well planted through fast corners and in sport mode, the steering is pleasantly heavy. With this controversial design, I'd love to have some go, not just show. Soundproofing and suspension are okay, the seats are very good even on long journeys. Visibility is bad, not as bad as in the CHR though. A reversing camera is standard on Asenta and higher trim levels. And a 360 camera is in the tech package, standard on Tecna models. The tech pack also includes ProPilot for automatic cars, blind spot monitoring and cross traffic alert when reversing. Prices of the Toyota CHR start at €26,000 for a 1.2 liter petrol with a manual gearbox. The cheapest 122 horsepower hybrid costs 29 grand, but you're probably saving thanks to some local eco incentives. At least I hope you are. 
In some markets, a 1.2 petrol with CVT and all-wheel drive may be available. This test car is a top-spec orange edition, available only with the most powerful hybrid powertrain for around €38,000. Nissan Juke prices start at €19,000 and this test car costs about thirty one grand. The CHR may be in a higher segment, but I'm not sure it is €7,000 more car. And which one of these two crossovers with courageous design tickles your fancy? The Nissan Juke with a tiny engine or the Toyota CHR with a slightly larger but hybrid powertrain? Let me know in the comment section below. If you like my sarcastic down to earth and possibly mildly amusing car reviews, click subscribe, the notification bell, turn on notifications on your mobile device, join me in the next Friday for more reviews, and perhaps you might want to consider watching some of the reviews which I linked here click 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 click